Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Today, filming with my DJI Osmo Pocket, seeing if it works beautifully because I'm walking the beach, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Uh, Bitcoin at the moment around 27,300. Uh, probably maybe we can test another 27 200 ish level uh, where I positioned another long because I believe that we will push to 30k from that but that's all short-term thinking and um, long-term thinking is way more important guys and I have some really cool charts today uh, that I want to share with you because A lot of people are always worrying about the United States and the SAC and the whatever they all call. Um, I don't give a fuck about them. And I will show you with two charts why you shouldn't give a fuck about them as well. And why you should focus on really other cool stuff uh, that will uh, mean way more than and countries. Also focus on more countries. That's what I need to say. That will mean way more in the future uh, than the United States. In my honest, humble opinion. Now. Um, the first chart you already saw, this is the short term chart now. So you can see that Bitcoin is around at 27,400 ish. I think we could fall to 27,200 one more time. That's a beautiful bounce, double bottom, and then bam, up to 30k, bam, find sideways movement, bam, up to 36k. That is my bullish prediction. My bearish prediction is we will not hold 27,200, we will fall to 26. 400 and then bam down even to 25,300 somewhere where that 200 weekly moving averages now find support there and then from there again build up you know a lot of people are worried about may may go away or something they call it if that will happen in may in my honest opinion uh, it will happen at the end of may around my birthday the 26th because i will dump a shitload of bitcoins no <laughs> i will never dump my bitcoins but i believe that we can still build up in the month of May to the end of May and yes mostly we can see a small dump in summer but that's not only May that's just because people want to take profit and uh, you know they need to pay their summer holidays and all that stuff so yeah the market gets quiet people leave the market people go have fun time with their families because they have been working 50 weeks that year to have two weeks off <laughs> not my kind of life but the life that most people live because they didn't invest in Bitcoin when I told them to. So now is the chance again, you can invest in Bitcoin and live that other life, like 50 weeks walking the beach and talking the beach and two weeks working your ass off, something like that. That's of course a joke because I work my ass off every day. And as you all know, I do a shitload of work. Now, um, there is a couple of charts I want to share with you guys. One of these charts is a beautiful chart that shows you how many days in the Bitcoin uh, cycle, we spend at certain amounts. On this chart, you can see the biggest amount of days we spend in the range from $100 to 1K. And the second biggest amount of days that we spent was in the range 10K to 100K. So it's a beautiful chart. You just pause the video and check the chart. You can see exactly how many days Bitcoin spent at certain levels. For me, uh, I'm still waiting for the amount of days that we will spend in between 100k and a million because i think that's the next bar on the chart and that will show in a couple of years probably uh, between now and 2036 somewhere we will have that bar also and maybe even spend 500 2000 days in that area guys that's what i think i think i'm very bullish i'm a problem i believe that bitcoin will be worth more than a million in the far future but what you also can see is that uh, in the last couple of areas, so from 1K to uh, 100K, the most m amount of days we've spent in this area, the least amount of days we've spent in the lower amounts area. So that means uh, that yes, we are still climbing in price, but the climb is slower than before because else we would have spent the same amount of days in this area now. But really cool chart. Let's go to the next one because I have a way more cool chart coming up now as well. So the next chart is this chart. Bam, guys. On this chart, again, a chart with drawdowns, but I want it to be clear to you that these drawdowns are there to buy. And as you can see, the first drawdown was 94%. 
Then the second drawdown was 87%. Then the third drawdown was 84%. And in the moment, we are at 78%. So there's nothing strange to these drawdowns. Yes, they are decreasing, but that's normal because more and more people are hovering. But the thing that you should understand of these drawdowns is, look to the chart. Just think very simple. You should be buying every time when there is this huge drawdown. That is very important. Every time at these drawdowns, you should be buying because then you just beautifully join that huge bull run that you see afterwards. And yes, there will be a moment that you exchange again into stable coins or whatever to take some profits, but that's not the most difficult thing to understand if you look at this chart. I know Bitcoin has not like a huge history. It's only like 14 years at the moment, but still, history is showing you some people say history rhymes so we see cycles of four years we uh, definitely see that there is a top every four years and a bottom so buy at that bottom sell at that top now then we are going to go into two more really cool charts that will show you why you shouldn't uh, be too scared about what is happening in the us nowadays okay let's jump into those charts and this first chart guys welcome to the year of 1980 you can see um the country's biggest trading partner. So everything that is blue on the chart has the United States as the biggest trading partner. And everything that is red on the chart has China as the biggest trading partner. Morning. Everything that is red has China as the biggest trading partner. So 1980, welcome back to the future, you know? So all the blue ones are having United States as their biggest trading partner. And all the red ones have China as the biggest trading partner. So from this decade on, People have been saying the United States has the power. But now let's jump into the next chart. I just want to show you why you should stop worrying about what the fucking sack and all those people and Gary Gensler and all the old, almost dead people in the United States are telling you because of this. Bam. On this chart now, 2018, you can see the difference. All the red countries have China as their biggest trading partner and all the blue countries have the United States as their biggest trading partner. So what's left? It's like the United States itself, a small part of Africa, and of course the Netherlands, Europe, the Belgium. <laughs> and then we have like, I think the Nordics, a few countries, and the rest is red. All the rest of the world has China as the biggest trading partner. Do you still care now about what Jerome Powell or how are they all called I don't even know the names because they're so old oh my god man they're almost almost dead in the United States I think I think they're destroying their own country in a massive way at the moment I don't even understand what they are doing and I don't think they even understand what they are doing because the chart that I just showed you is very it's very clear it is very clear it is showing you very clearly that Asia is taking over and Asia is taking over for a certain reason, because they are doing the stuff in the right way. And that is very important for you guys to understand. Why would we worry about what the United States does with Bitcoin? Fuck it. I would worry what Asia does to Bitcoin, how the adoption in those countries will be. And I've been there in Phuket, and I've been everywhere in Asia. And I've traveled through 42 countries in the last seven years, and let me tell you, the adoption in all those countries, South America, Asia, is way bigger than the adoption in Europe and the United States. They are still battling about, oh, where can you withdraw Bitcoin? Oh, where can you on and off ramp Bitcoin? Oh, regulations, KYC, and all the fucking shit. The rest of the world is already steps ahead. OTC deals everywhere. You can pay with Bitcoins in many countries. It's only those blue countries that are making it difficult. So if you live the lifestyle that I am living, flexibility is the new stability, you just move around those blue countries. Don't visit those blue countries. If they don't support Bitcoin, leave them. If, if you need to pay 50% tax on Bitcoin in those countries, leave them. If they don't want you to on or off ramp Bitcoin, leave them. If they don't want you to give your children Bitcoin for their birthday, fuck them. <laughs> Just leave those countries. Go to one of, the, one of those other countries that do embrace Bitcoin. And I believe the whole economical system is going to shift massively in the next couple of years because this chart was 2018. I think when you will make this chart again now with the data of 2023, I think even more countries are red. 
I think at the end there will be a few blue countries left that have the United States as their biggest, biggest trading partner. It is not important anymore. The dollar doesn't have importance anymore. And that is when you will see the collapse of the world reserve currency dollar. And we will exchange into a new world reserve currency like we have done every 80 to 120 years. Could that be Bitcoin? Yes. Could that be the digital yuan from China? Yes. Could that be any other currency that the BRICS form a digital stable coin? Yes. Could all those other stable coins that are being created by the BRICS or any other countries being backed up by Bitcoin? Yes, many possibilities, but whatever possibility it is, in my opinion, Bitcoin is gonna play a huge role in it and Bitcoin is gonna be my store of value. It should be your store of value as well. You should be holding Bitcoin as well because this Bitcoin, this beautiful tool, peaceful revolution, setting us free from the oppression of centralized governments and all other motherfuckers, is going to survive it doesn't need the trust of governments it needs your trust my trust we need to build and if we build bitcoin out to our new monetary system then we have chosen to build bitcoin out to the new monetary system and we just need to choose to use it and to use it you need to spread the word walk the beach talk with people go to a bar Ask them if you can pay with Bitcoin. Go to a shop. Ask them if you can pay with Bitcoin. Go to the McDonald's. Ask them if you can pay with Bitcoin. Just make a joke. Hey, can I pay with Bitcoin? You will see people smiling more and more because people understand why you want to pay with Bitcoin. And at the end, it will lead to more and more people telling their bosses, ha, ah, there was a guy that wanted to pay with Bitcoin today. And their bosses will start to think, oh shit, maybe we should accept Bitcoin. Good marketing, good store of value. It's performing better than the dollar and the euro. Yes, maybe we should start to accept a little bit of Bitcoin uh, in our business. But that's my opinion, guys. Now, a lot of talking. Um, I want to keep it to that. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? What do you think about everything I just said? Or do you think Diddy is a lunatic? Or do you think, ah, he might be right. If you think I might be right, then click down below on the link uh, to buy bit and start to buy your bitcoins over there. Guys, buy bit is still non-KYC, but from the 8th of May, they are going to change their policy and you need to verify yourself. So you need to KYC to be able to trade and buy bitcoins. Is there another option that you can do? Yes, Apex. I've been talking about Apex already for a year now. I think it was one of the first influencers that even made a video about Apex. Apex is a fully decentralized exchange. You connect your own non-custodial wallet. It can even be your ledger or it can be your trust wallet or it can be whatever wallet is possible with Wallet Connect to Apex and you trade from out and you trade from out your own wallet. So you don't need to send bitcoins to their exchange because of the tax. You can trade with leverage, more and more pairs are being added, more and more liquidity is being added. The spread is beautiful. It's a really cool exchange. And I know that Bybit is one of the bigger investors in it. So yes, believe me, it's going to be one of the biggest DEXs in the new bull. Now, that was really everything. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.